I've ordered this parcel four days ago and it already arrived today and I'm located in Philippines. Bananas! What's up YouTube? This is Boy G back in another video. This is the wireless rear speaker surround set for the Samsung sound bars. If you haven't checked it out, I uh, I uploaded, I, I, I unboxed, right? I reviewed this Samsung Q600C uh, sound bar that came along with my uh, S90C OLED television and that is Dolby Atmos and all the good stuff and all the bells and whistles but it's just a sound bar and a sound woofer, a wireless sound woofer it doesn't have a real rear speaker so I, I thought I'm gonna look for rear speaker and I actually managed to see this in Amazon I cannot see anything like this in local, you know, but it looks like Amazon still sells it. And there's also like the much more expensive one. The, uh, I believe it's the S900 or 990. But let's go ahead and open this up. This is the S92. Now, if you're not yet subscribed, um, please consider subscribing. I unbox and review stuff like this, you know, uh, devices or gadgets that I purchased for my own money. These are not a sponsored video. It might help you in your purchase decision, especially if you're looking for uh, how it looks, you know, what are the contents of the box. So you will be able to check it out on my video. So consider subscribing, but thank you so much. Oh, I like that. It looks like this is the real box, right? It's just smaller. Let me open this up real quick here. Again, this is wireless rear speaker kit for Samsung. It's called model number SWA. 9200s right 9200s wireless speaker or wireless rear speaker kit for samsung soundbar expand your soundbar system to create cinematic sound experience now again this is the lower version on amazon there's a higher version called uh swa 99 or 9800s i believe that includes like an up firing dolby atmos you know, kind of like supporting speaker as well. This one's just traditional um, driver with a uh, front firing one. But I think this will suffice in my uh, use case because the soundbar itself has already a uh, up firing one. So let's open that up real quick. All right, safety information. All right, thank you for purchasing this uh, SWA 9200S. I think it's very difficult to get a hand of this because I rarely see this in YouTube or in stores. I don't know if this is discontinued. I don't think so because we can, you can actually uh, visit Samsung. It's just out of stock. Here is the speaker cable. Mm, I like that the speaker cable is just a traditional one because I have Sony, right? The 5.1 and the rear speaker um, setup is kind of like using a proprietary cable or whatever connector. So it's not as easily as replaceable as this one. This one, you can just easily buy a replacement, you know, of a speaker wire and you don't need to to solder or tape anything which is i appreciate right I, you know which is good i appreciate that and it's very long if you did not realize that's very long power connector we only have one power connector so that means that these two satellite um speakers will connect to each other using the uh, included um you know speaker wire let's unbox the real thing here looks like this is the power adapter for that cable that we've got so the power Cable is just a straight cable, uh, you know, towards the power there, easily replaceable. But this appears to be the adapter for the actual speakers, right? Samsung, all right, 59 watt, 19 volt, and uh, of course, that's auto bolt as well, and nothing else. Oh, the speaker is quite big compared to my Sony one. Interesting. I thought it's it's just small on the picture it's kind of like small but it's actually bigger in reality oh like substantially bigger and a little bit heavier than the sony uh, rear speaker that i've got as well the the one that i recently unboxed 
I would assume that this will perform a lot better, a lot louder than that one. Of course, it's just plastic here. It's not wood. Plastic, hard plastic on the back as well. Something that you can use to uh, hang it. This is the speaker clips, right? Which I, I really appreciate. I love this because again, you can easily replace the cables, right? I hate the Sony implementation. It's a built-in wire that you cannot even remove, make it clean, but this one, you can always remove it. Three ohms, that's, that's cool. And you also have the power there. So DC 19 volts, that's the power adapter that we just unboxed. And surround speaker system, impedance three ohms. Surround left, it says. I like it. Oh, and I like how it looks. Look at this. I don't know if it has a tweeter inside or it's just a port, but you do have two holes here. I would assume that's a, there's a tweeter right there, but you do have like a speaker here, a drive, and then a little opening on the bottom that looks like a tweeter. I love that. Lastly, let's open up the second one here. This is the uh, surround right, as you can see right there. Of course, in front of the same driver and a tweeter there, a little hole above the Samsung logo. Metal grill, by the way. So you don't have to worry about your children, pets or anything destroying that out. And I love that even though there's no port on the top, the design is uniform with their higher variant, right? So it's still grill here. It's not like a plane like this. So it has the, the illusion that you have a speaker there, which is I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, on the back, they look different, right? Oh, this one's also a little bit... Uh, actually, yeah, no, they're, they're, they're pretty much the same. Probably a little bit, just a bit heavier, but they're pretty much the same. And yeah, the difference is on the back. As you can see here, you have a space to plug the cable or rather the adapter. And then the speaker clips are here. You also have like an ID set there. And again, the buttons for a link and standby, but on the surround right, you only have this stuff, nothing else, right? Pretty cool. I love it. I love how this speaker looks and they're chunky boys, right? They're they're substantially bigger. It's not small. They're a lot, lot big. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, connect it to my soundbar here, um, set it up, and then we'll do some audio or a sound test in a bit. I'll be right back. All right, so we managed to uh, unbox and connect the other side of this. Now, this is the left surround right the left side as you can see surround left and this is basically the parent you know um set of this because you'll have to connect the power here and then the other side the right surround it's just going to be connected using this uh, speaker wire now if you notice this left surround has two leds here link and standby standby uh lifts up red when it's uh, turned off or you know the the sound bars on standby are turned off and it will lit up blue if it's paired and good to go, you know, if it's uh, turned on. Uh, pairing it to the soundbar is extremely easy, right? So I do have the Q600C. Uh, Initially, as soon as you plug this in, this link will just blink blue, right? As if kind of like a Bluetooth pairing, right? And then you're going to go turn off your soundbar, right? Get the remote control like this. While it's turned off, I think it's kind of like on standby, you'll press the up button here right on the directional pad up for about five seconds and then on the led display it will show id pairing right kind of like link id so id pairing and then basically it's this you don't actually need to press this it's just gonna happen automatically if it's on the vicinity if they're close it'll automatically pair and you will notice that the link light will turn solid like this and that means it's already turn, you know, it's already good to go. It's already paired. As soon as it's turned solid, turn off your soundbar again because it will automatically turn on. Turn it off. Uh, just verify that this will turn into red on standby. And as soon as you turn it on, it will go back to solid blue again, indicating it's connected. So very easy to pair. Now let me mount this on the on the you know right side or on the left side on the wall, and let's do some sound tests. I'll be right back. All right, so that is the right side. I just put it uh, on that wall. And then the other side is there on the corner there. This room is pretty small, so they definitely can fill it up, no problem. I guess if it's like a, a larger room, you know, it might be difficult for them. But this is very small. I think it's, it's perfect for them. So let's go ahead and um, play some tunes here. 
And let's see if uh, the surround effect will be good. Center, obviously. Left's pretty loud. Right. Very good. Okay, sounds great. Let's go back to the TV now and let's see some surround. all right so that's it guys uh, let me know down in the comments below what are your thoughts on this surround uh sound uh i don't think i can actually um what i call this share the exact experience that i'm getting through this phone because my phone obviously is just a stereo it's not even good you know it's just a microphone off of a phone um it's entirely different here of course uh hearing it uh personally right it's actually ridiculously awesome um the surround speakers are bigger right so again i reviewed the sony um if i can remember s40r recently go ahead and check my uh unboxing and review down in the description i'm gonna put it there but yeah you know this uh samsung one is much much bigger clearer dolby atmos it's tons tons better right um overall review though for the uh base itself it feels like it's not there initially because the sound is very separated but then when it hits it hits like a truck right but for this again for the speaker itself the surround satellites this is a must buy if you're gonna buy this um q600c soundbar make sure that you get the satellite upgrade right it's it's a huge upgrade you know it's unbelievable i, I couldn't believe that it's a huge upgrade with the soundbar itself alone it's it's nice it's powerful it's all good but when you add the the surround it's just much 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 better right the soundstage is bigger 
um, a lot of ambient sound. It's it's really really good. It's tons better than the Sony S40R again. That one, the the surround speaker of that barely works, you know. But this one is great absolutely bananas but that's all for today guys let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions any thoughts opinion suggestion subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet as you can see i unbox and review things like this so it might help in your purchase decision but that's all for today thanks so much for watching guys stay safe and see you on my next one peace